Hey everybody, welcome to another Dark and Light video. Today we are doing something exciting because this is going to be our biggest tame yet. We are going to try to chase down a Nidhogg. So they're more in the like the central part of the map. They're in a very tough place to get and they are very tough to get. But I think we'll manage to get it. I already have everything in my inventory. So of course we're going to use the Orb of Entanglement that we used on the Griffin. I did manage to make a Nid Nidhogg saddle. So to do that I had to get to rank 8 on riding. Now I'm telling you this right now and this isn't an exaggeration. I made over 200 saddles just to level that up. And I went farming for hide like 2 hours, 3 hours. So it wasn't easy to get, but we did get the Nidhogg saddle. Luckily, it wasn't very hard to make. The hardest hardest thing to get to make it was these orbs, but um, those just, they're easy to get. They just take a lot of farming. So we've got everything. But before we leave, I just want to play with a few things real quick. I found one of these tamed hive, or I found a hive in the wild, and now it's like a tamed hive. So that's really weird. I want to see what it does. Uh... What can we do with it? I guess let's just place it like above the door. And then... Okay, we can make honey in it. And it glows a little bit. Okay, so that's kind of cool. I've, I don't know. I guess we'll play with it later. Um, but yeah, and then we got these things in Royal Jelly. A beast favorite food made using honey. Okay, so I don't really know what that does, but um, I guess that's a thing. Now, the other thing that I wanted to do, other than the Nidhogg, was play with... Um, goblins a little bit. So, we can make these goblin ballistas. They're in the goblin engineering tab. And we actually finished it. We completely finished that. Now, to make the goblin contracts, you actually need to tame a goblin. Which, Oh my gosh, guys. There's an elite goblin. Oh, did that go like behind him? That's so weird. Oh. Don't kill him, don't kill him, don't kill him. Ah, uh, he's dead. Alright, guys, there is a goblin. Uh, there's... Okay, actually, there was a death stalker over there, but now he's dead. Okay, so there's two. Level 8 and level 56. Let's definitely grab the level 56. So let's take care of that guy. And let's go ahead and uh, try to get this guy up. So that's one arrow to the face. I'm going to let him break out of it. And bam, one arrow straight to the chest. Now, if this takes a while, that is fine. I'm going to be recording the entire thing because I do want... Why is there a dead bag? There's a death stalker over there. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. Oh, he almost hit me. I'm going to go ahead and let that thing walk towards me. And while that happens, I'm going to kill this death stalker because I can't get this guy to kill my tame like that. So let's switch back. Where are you, guy? So I will be, especially with Tames, I haven't really talked about this yet, but I do want to talk about it. Like, I do want to record the entire taming process because essentially that's what a Let's Play is supposed to be. If someone can't play the game, they want to play the game through another person. I mean, sometimes it's about the entertainer also, but in my case, I think I'm quite boring. So I stick to actual gameplay itself, but... um. A lot of times, like, I looked up, like, hey, how do I tame this? How do I tame that? And they pretty much cut throughout the entire time of taming. Kind of just go from beginning to end. And I don't think that's exactly right. Because, like, personally, I look to see how to tame it. Not it actually being tamed. So, that might not be for everybody. But specifically for me, I think it's going to be best to especially, like, kind of stay. Move my camera here. Um... Yeah, just kind of show the whole taming process so you guys can kind of see how to tame them. Even though I might be doing it wrong, I don't know. Like, so right now I'm trying the one-hook method to let it hit it, let it escape, hit it again, run this way. That might be wrong. I might, I probably should just pump it filled with arrows, which if this goes on for another two or three minutes, I probably will because I'm going to get bored. But it should, f you know what, okay. Let's start pumping it filled with arrows. This is boring. So I'm just going to start pumping it here. Bam. Fall down, little guy. Come on. Okay, if this doesn't take it down, I have no idea what will. But, I mean, he is a pretty high level. This is, honestly, one of the highest goblin levels 
I've ever seen, personally. So he's running away. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna put any more arrows because that's partly gonna be a waste. Because he's gotta fall down. Once he breaks these, bam, he fell. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. He fell. I'm gonna say like, what is this guy doing? All right. Let's go ahead and. Uh, I think he eats meat, right? Yeah, he does eat meat. Okay. Cool. Uh, usually, ooh, that's not good. Usually around a tame, I'd build a building. Whew. I'd build a building, but um, I think he's going to tame fairly quickly, and not to mention, I'm just going to stand around. But with the Nidhogg later in the episode, 100% I will build a building around it. You can actually see, once I take the meat off this guy, for actually the Nidhogg tames, I'm going to need a good bit of meat. I did bring building material, so walls, foundations, ceilings, and on this single player world that I made, I put the settings to make sure the structures are not easy to break. And uh, so things won't attack it. So we'll get a nice Nidhogg going. But for now, um, hopefully this guy actually, I thought he wouldn't take long. But he's a pretty high level, so it might take longer than I expected. But uh, either way, yeah, I'll be here and we'll be back once this is done. All right, everybody, he should be done very, very soon. I think his hunger has to go down to about a little bit below 50. So he's just about to get done. I guess for now, let's go kill this thing for some more meat while we wait. Now, I was like, gotta make sure nothing's attacking. Because I swear, if something attacks and kills him now, I'm going to be devastated. Now, this tame didn't take as long as the griffin, which is three hours. But it did actually surprisingly did take a good half an hour. That's, I mean, that's a half an hour. That's not a small amount of time. So I'm pretty surprised that he took this long. It might have to do something with his higher level. Because this is basically the highest level I've seen on a goblin. I if, if I'd say the max I've seen is somewhere around 60. And I don't even... That's just making it up. I think... I don't know. I think 50 is the highest I've ever seen. But he's about to be done here in a moment. And I probably will need some more stone hook arrows for the Nidhogg. I will probably make some. But come on. Come on, guy. He should be eating very, very soon. Maybe 445 is my guess but that's just a complete guess we'll see if my predictions are correct and okay there we go so very very close all right cool bring him in here hey buddy say hello to your new friends let's try to bring him in the corner we can't ride him of course so let's get him to stay okay now we can make the goblin contracts let's go inside of the building and get those and real quick just to kind of show you guys, I don't, I, hopefully I didn't do it already. I mean, I don't know. It's been a half an hour of doing nothing. I've kind of forgotten. But up here, I did do some adjustments. I have three spell towers. I have one here. I have one here. And I have one over there protecting all sides of the house. And this spell generator is uh, it does reach all three of them. And it is being powered at the moment with uh, yeah some things. And every single one of these does have ammo. And is on uh, elemental. Okay. Well, let's make sure they are on, actually. Maybe they weren't on. That The one in the front was on. Let's make sure to... Uh, let's make sure to turn these on. My mistake. Now they are on. Okay. I thought I heard steps for a minute. So these things will protect my base. That's also why I didn't want to tame a goblin near here. Because these things would shoot it down really, really quickly. But anyway, enough rambling. Let's go ahead and grab the ink and the paper. And let's grab these two ballistas. And we will make more ballistas if they're cool. Uh, let's go over here and stick them in his inventory. Now, the, the question that I'm wondering is, do these contracts, is there a goblin forever at the station or only for a certain amount of time? I'm guessing only for a certain amount of time. I wouldn't think it's permanent. But um, I don't know. Now, how long does one of these take? Man. See, because, uh... Does this seriously, like, take that long? How long does that even take? Wow, okay, that takes a while. Well, then here's what we're going to do. We're going to leave this guy here. And we're actually going to go get the Nidhogg now. 
and we'll check back because I didn't realize those contracts took so long. So yeah, let's go ahead and put these back. So yep, we've got all the materials on us. I guess we can just go get the Nidhogg. We can drop some irrelevant things. Okay. So what we're going to do about the Nidhogg, though, since it's not anywhere really near here. Um, I have the chance of dying, of course. And if I die from the Nidhogg, whatever creature that I'm with is pretty much dead meat. So I'm not going to take my Griffin or Wyvern in case I fail. I will be taking uh, a Burunda. All right, guys. My guess, the Nidhogs would be somewhere in these plains. Now, I might be wrong. I'm not 100% sure because I don't exactly... Wait, wait, wait a minute. Those are Nidhogs. There's a, a floppy snake. Those are... Those are Nidhogs can confirm I was correct what level are you eight let's try for a level eight okay let's entangle it okay this thing this thing does some high damage oof that's a bargesh okay he's a very nice blue though okay so let's throw another entanglement on him and take care of this bargesh so he doesn't mess with us you need to die just like that. Let's bring back our bow out. And this is not the type of creature that I kind of want to mess with. So I'm, I'm always going to entangle him. I brought plenty of entangle spells. So there's no really wasting. I've got plenty. And they're pretty easy to make. But yeah, um, this Burunda is a little bit low leveled. But you know what? I do like his color quite a bit. They come in different colors. This guy is a very, very nice blue. I'm really... Uh, I was like, don't tell me he falls asleep right there. Ah, uh, it's going to be hard to build around him. Hmm. Okay. Uh, I guess we'll build... I don't even know how I'm going to build around this guy <laughs> since he's kind of on a rock. You know what? I guess we'll just do a little bit of that. And I might as well build... Okay. Okay. Uh, I can't build there. Ugh, this guy literally landed in the worst position. Well, real quickly, let's at least place the trough down. And I'm kind of regretting not maybe getting a bigger Nidhogg. Let's go ahead placing that there. Maybe I should have gone for a bigger one. Actually, take that out. Put that in just like that. Um, I guess we'll see, though. I mean, at least he's close to the Burunda. That's a plus, but... Okay, you know what? Let's try maybe ceilings. I think ceilings... Ceiling would work. Okay, so ceilings would work here. That's why ceilings are very, very nice a lot of times. Okay, um... Let's go ahead and just get rid of this. But that shows the Brundas can't really get up here, so that's kind of nice. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. It's going to be really hard to completely block off this guy. Because he's such... Why did you land here, my dude? Landed in literally the worst position ever. Well, that's fine. I'm going to quickly build around him, and then I'll be back. All right. I've got him pretty much trapped. There's walls all around, basically. And then I have a roof. It's a very scattered roof, but I'm pretty sure a griffin wouldn't be able to get in here. And yeah, this dude is taming up. My problem is, is he is not taming up very well. His in, Almost his entire bar went down. And he hasn't eaten once yet. And let's see how big. Because I'm going to have to pretty much uh, numb this guy up. I'm just going to say numbing him up quite a lot. Because his constitution goes down so quickly. And I do have my Brenda near so she doesn't die, luckily. So, uh, let's place more meat. But yeah, this guy, his constitution goes down a little bit too fast for my liking. But it is what it is. He is a nice color, at least. And, yeah. Um, I guess I'll be back when he's done. Alright, everybody. So, the Nidhogg is done, which is crazy. That took way too long. But, we ended up doing it. But, it is a couple hours later, and it is, um... What time is it? It is 5 in the morning for me, so 
stayed up quite a bit for this guy, but I think it's worth it. Let's try to get on top of him real quick so we get access to the roof because we do got to demolish the roof here because we do need to fly out somehow. But let's go ahead demolish these walls. I got to demolish. I'll just destroy all the walls. It's not like the griffin's going to be attacking me. And I should probably set um, him on following. But first, we'll just take a little test ride. But the thing I do like about him is I definitely picked a good color, at least. This color looks... It looks fantastic, but let's go ahead in the sky. Whoa, okay. It's pretty fast. I mean, I knew that's what he was supposed to be, but this guy is fast. Oh, oh no. See, that's what I mean. Griffin, stop it. Stop it. St oh, he's going to kill it. He, okay, rip. Okay, you know what? You know what? Passive, uh, neutral, neutral. Yeah, okay, passive. There we go. Can you stop attacking that, please? I'm going to kill this griffin. Come here. Aerial combat. Because I obviously can't get to the ground right now. Griffin, you need to stop that, alright? The Nidhogg is faster and bigger than you. Well, that's what happens when you have your big brother in the sky watching out for you. And the flying boy didn't take much damage, so that's pretty cool. Uh, but yeah. Actually, the Nidhogg is pretty cool, as you just witnessed from there. That was some great aerial combat. Uh, the Nidhogg's pretty good at fighting. If it took down a griffin that easily and protected my boy over there, I'm proud of this guy. I'm definitely going to be leveling this guy in between episodes. I, okay, like, I'm a little bit biased here. I haven't seen all the colors, and I keep rambling about the Nidhogg's color, but man, do I love this color. It is like a really, really nice blue. And I mean, so I'm probably going to go tame some other Nidhogs and kind of see what other colors there are. But this guy, if I don't get him killed by accident, he's definitely going to be my, my favorite just because of his color. So I'll definitely try to level him up. Although he might get put in the dust if I just find a bigger Nidhogg. But man, I'm going to have to find some more room or something or have a new way of organizing because man i keep getting oh i keep getting bigger and bigger creatures here so i'm gonna place this guy down here and take him to let's order to stay and then let's get you settled down here bam and then let's get him to stay just like that so bam in in two episodes we ended up getting a griffin and a nidhog now let's talk about the man seriously only he only got one done man i better i better see these goblins as like permanent because these things take way too long way way too long that was a couple hours worth of taming and only got one is better be worth it that's all i'm saying but let's go ahead and get a ballista going. I guess we'll only get one ballista for now. Let's see what this does. And after we get this, we'll, we'll end off the episode. But I do want to see what this does. Let's go up here. And I don't know where to put the defense. I guess. I guess we'll put it right here. Although I don't I don't really know. I, I'll, I might uh, like move it. Oh, okay. So, you know what I'm thinking? Hmm. Kind of a thought. I kind of want to put it in that corner over there. I don't really know how I would get to it. So we have like a spell tower over there, a spell tower here, a spell tower over there. Now I know the spell tower from the front actually does reach uh, basically everywhere up front. But the only place that I haven't really covered yet is right here. And I've seen animals come here. So let's see if I want to get the wall on the other side. Uh, okay, let's try to get up on here. You know what? Oh, can we play stuff while on a bird? I didn't even realize you could do that. How sick is that? Let's... P okay, it's bam, right there, actually. Just where I wanted it. Alright, now let's see. Can we jump onto that platform with another bird? I know we probably can't with this one. Oof. Okay, come on. Can I... Okay, well, now I'm just kind of stuck. I know if we get, like, the griffin in here, we'll probably be able to do it. But, um, for now, I guess let's just get up there. 
Okay, maybe we can just jump off this griffin's head. Just like that. Hey, look at that. Good job, guy. I love how he's just kind of staring at me. Good job, guy. Okay. Let's go ahead and place this up here. We will get a goblin to defend. Um, Let's see. Range to high. Uh, Let's get it to all targets. Unlock. Um, b -b 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 okay, so I think that's everything good. Now, how do we use the goblin contract? I don't exactly know. Do we... No? Okay, so again, this is my first time playing with it, so let's kind of just... Okay, so it says current fuel time. So did I... Does, does the Goblin Ballista only... So is it, like, fueled? Oh, now I see him. Look at the little guy. Oh, I did forget to put air... Let's see, what does the Goblin Ballista do? Does it do anything? Okay. I guess the Goblin Ballista just wants to stand there. Man, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Uh, let's do it at this Resurrection Altar. I have no idea what I'm doing wrong. But, uh, all I know is my spell towers aren't, uh, they're not disappointing. They're taking things out. Is this my, is this my body? That, that is my body. Okay. Let's go ahead and, uh, get rid of this shabby clothing. One, two, three, and put on our good clothing. Also, guys, one thing that I want to show you, which I'm going to start wearing because I think it is like one of the coolest things in the game. Let's see, where is it, where is it, where is it? Well, I made this one cape. Uh, what, no, I'm in the wrong chest. What am I doing? It's 5 in the morning, forgive me. I made this one cape, this one. And it looks kind of weird in my opinion. Like, okay, so you see, like, it moves. It looks kind of cool, right? But, uh, this one cape, I don't know why I think it looks so cool. Maybe we could try to make it real quick. It is this one. So, let's see. Uh, do we, do we even have enough? All right, so we needed one more, right? Well, we've got an Earth Elemental here that I literally just killed, and hopefully we could grab one out of here. If we get lucky enough, I'm just going to grab one and dip. But so far, we're not getting lucky. We're just getting Uncommon Stone. Come on, just give me one. Just just, just one. Come on. No, nope, that's Rare Stone. Not, not, no, come on. Come on. Just one. There we go. Uh, I think that's what we needed, right? Uh, I think that's what, because we have four. We needed one more. Well, I mean, okay, there's another one. Okay, I guess I might as well finish him. I shouldn't probably just leave, so I'll finish this guy off, and then we'll make Okay, so I just got all the materials. Let's go ahead and make this hood. Now, I feel really... Oh, okay, well, you know what? Let's just place and then I'll talk. Place all of these. Now, I feel really, really bad. So it's a brimstone hood, right? It is favored by the dwarven, which is so annoying. Okay, so we made it, I'll, and I'll just... Uh, I guess I'll just take the materials with me so I don't clunk up this place. So each race has its own uh, hood. So I actually have one of the... I keep going to this chest for some... Man, you know it's late when I keep going to the wrong chest. Well, I made this druidic hood that doesn't look cool at all. Um, okay, it was upstairs. I have the elf one, which is the ice wind. And I think... It's, you know what? I'll just show it to you guys since... I th okay, and that's also an I'm talking about glitches. That is another glitch, which I don't know why it wouldn't let me climb past that. It happens like maybe 30% of the time I do that. I don't know why. But if we go in here, I'll show off th the elven one. So this is the elven ice wind hood. So let's put that one on. You can kind of see. I think it's glitched. Look at the cape. It's just flat and doesn't move. It's like they put in the character, like the model for it, but they didn't add any animations for it. So I thought, I'm like, okay, because these hoods are super cool animated. And I was like, okay, let me put the elf one on. But it looks so lame. The elf one isn't even animated now. Let's put on the brimstone one. Okay, maybe put on the brimstone one. Now look at this one. It, like, it animates. It, like, moves when you walk. Look how cool this is. Like, this looks dope. Now, again, the only problem is... This is what the dwarves wear. I'm not a dwarf. Like, it actually feels like disrespectful to wear this around public because I'm not a dwarf. But man, it looks so cool. So I'm really hoping 
that they maybe add the animations for the cape or something or uh, i don't know it actually i spent like an hour or two fiddling with the settings thinking i didn't have some like animation setting on uh, no apparently not because i put this thing on and uh, we're good so i have no idea but i don't know i definitely want uh the elf cape on that and it like animates like this but I don't, I don't know why it doesn't but anyway guys we got the nidhogg we got the goblin we played some things we, what i don't even know what this is but that's gonna be it for today's episode guys if you did enjoy make sure to like and comment as it was on the channel and i will see you guys later god bless and goodbye